Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automation revolution. Today in this video, I will explain you about memory bit concept in PLC programming. So for the uh, beginner, it's very important to learn uh, memory bit while you are using uh, PLC programming or developing any logic. Uh, so by using uh, one example, uh, I will explain you how you can use memory bit in PLC and uh, what are the benefit of uh, using this memory bit. So first thing is uh, while you are taking any input uh, from the PLC, so it's not uh, necessary every time uh, PLC input is uh, continuously on. Many times we are taking only pulse uh, from uh, PLC input like in uh, case of proximity sensor or uh, photo sensor. So in that type of input will give you only pulse. So if you want to take a reference uh, input uh, for that pulse, so the, in that case also we are using uh, memory bit sometimes to reduce uh, network we are using memory bit as a reference bit we are using memory bit so these are the application uh, for uh, using memory bit so uh, i hope after watching this video and uh, this example uh, your doubt will be cleared about memory bit so let's start i will explain you uh, first this logic and uh, this example and uh, now uh, then we will develop uh, later logic so here uh, we have three pump a b and c standby uh, pump and uh, when uh, I will press start button, so two uh, pump A and B will, both will be on as per first condition and the uh, main conductor will be on. So I am pressing start button, so you can see main conductor and both pump A and B both uh, are on by uh, this main conductor. Second condition is when any uh, pump A or B will fail, then standby pump uh, C will be on. So for the failure condition here I have considered uh, one physical input because uh, we can't uh, uh, fail the pump uh, right now in this case so uh, for failing I have uh, used one external input so that I am using so first I am uh, failing this pump A so you can see when pump A is failed uh, the standby pump uh, C uh, automatically will on when pump B will fail so then uh, standby pump C will be on so uh, as per second condition we have made logic now as per the third condition when any two pump a from abc will fail then one main conductor will be off and alarm bell will be in. so now when uh, two fan uh, sorry two pump from abc uh, will fail so first uh, we will see the condition pump a and b both will fail so you can see then main conductor will be off and uh, alarm bulb will blink and that give you indication that only one pump is running same like when pump B and C will fail then also alarm will blink and when pump A and C both will fail then also uh, alarm will uh, bulb will blink so for this logic uh, we have developed here uh, letter logic and in and that letter logic we have used memory bit concept uh, that we are going to learn in this uh, video so now uh, we will go for uh, letter diagram so now uh, in this ti portal uh, we will develop a plc letter diagram so you can see i have already taken uh, one to one for c plc for siemens and uh, as per our application we need to blink uh, one led or bulb so for blinking uh, we will enable clock memory here so from uh, this plc properties uh, you will get option system and clock memory and uh, from there uh, you can enable the clock memory bit so here you need to uh, enable this uh, clock memory and you will get total 8 different bit at uh, different uh, frequency and from there you can use any uh, frequency as per your application so you will get total 8 different uh, clock pulse from this uh, memory bit see uh, this clock memory and uh, memory bit both are different concept the clock memory uh, will give you pulse uh, while memory bit uh, give you continuously input uh, continuously bit uh, uh, when you are giving any signal to that memory bit so here uh, we will keep uh, this thing in our mind clock memory is different and uh, memory bit is also different so here we have enabled this clock memory bit and then uh, we will assign here a little logic as per our application so from the uh, first network uh, first uh, we will take an contact and i will assign i0.0 as start button and here i will assign stop button 
here uh, we are using push button so that's why we need to latch this network and here I will assign one memory bit so uh, for understanding I am using m1.0 see in clock memory we have used uh, 0.02 m0.7 bit so uh, here uh, we will start from m1.0 so this is memory bit not clock memory because uh, this bit will give you uh, continuously on or off uh, output so same uh, latch bit I will use here m1.0 so this will be our uh, memory bit m1.0 so when uh, start uh, input uh, push button will give you pulse so this m1.0 uh, uh, bit will be latch and it will give you a signal the same m1.0 uh, we can use as a reference and a contact and uh, now from the m1.0 you can start uh, main contactor so for the main contactor uh, we will use q0 output so this i0.0 is input and q0.0 is our output after starting main contactor uh, as per our application uh, we need to uh, on pump a and b so once again uh, we will use memory bit m1.0 so you can see uh, here uh, from only uh, i0.0 start bit we can enable this uh, m1.0 bit and the same memory bit you can use multiple time so it's very uh, easy for troubleshooting and diagnosis so you can turn on two pump here I have made a tag table and from there I can assign uh, output q0.1 for pump A and q0.2 for pump B now uh, as per third condition when you need to fail the pump so for failure uh, for example I have used here any external input for uh, making fold so here I am adding two NC contact so when uh, I will create fold i0.2 so this uh, nc contact will be open and this pump will be off so uh, this is not actually uh, happening in uh, field area but for understanding uh, we are uh, using here fold as input so here i am creating for uh, pump a and uh, fold b for uh, fail uh, failing this pump b now as per our third condition when any pump a or b will fail then stand by pump C will be on so once again we will take memory bit M1.0 because it's mandatory uh, when this M1.0 bit will be on then and only system should be on and uh, here I am using this fold A and B uh, open contact to enable uh, pump C so I can use here fold A open contact because when uh, I will create fold A so this uh, open contact will be closed and this will be open and uh, I will also use second condition fold B so when uh, pump A or B will fail so you can enable this pump C now for failing uh, this pump C once again we need to uh, take extra contact and here we will create fold C so as per our th th third condition we have developed the letter net network now uh, we will see last condition when any two pump uh, will fail pump A, B or C so for that once again uh, we will use memory bit 1.0 and here uh, we will use this fold input so I will use two in uh, series fold A and fold B second condition uh, we will use fold B and fold C and here uh, I will assign extra uh, memory bit last condition is fold C 
and fold sorry a so here when uh, pump a or b will fail then also uh, this memory bit m1.1 will be on for this condition also this can be on and uh, in last condition when fan uh, fold c and uh, a will occur that time also m1.1 uh, bit will on so for uh, all three uh, conditions one memory bit is enough so this memory bit you can use uh, for stopping this memory uh, main contactor so this is our application so when any two fan uh, sorry two pump will be off then this main contactor uh, must be off so here i am using that memory bit concept 1.1 you can see when any two pump will fail main memory bit m1.1 will be on and main contactor will be off and last condition here i can use m1.1 uh, and uh, here i can use clock memory so right now i will use 1 hertz clock memory and here last alarm so now our letter is completed now and uh, we will compile and download so you can see we have used uh, multiple times same memory bit here here also and here also so you don't need to write every everywhere this logic start and stop bit and uh, here also you can see fold a b b c or c a when uh, this fold will occur so this memory bit can uh, take as a reference here and from the reference bit you can uh, turn off this uh, main conductor so multiple time you can uh, use this memory bit and uh, uh, by by the uh, taking memory bit you can uh, reduce your network and uh, it will very easy uh, easy uh, for implementing the little logic the same uh, same uh, bit we have used in uh, plc uh, plc uh, later now we will check so i am starting bit by pressing uh, i0.0 now uh, this bit will be latch so main contact is on now pump a and b both are on so when pump a will fail you can see this pump c is on now when pump b will fail then also pump c will be uh, on standby fan and when any two pump a or b uh, will fail so you can see here this alarm bulb will blink continuously and when any two pump b or c will fail then also you can see alarm will blink and uh, here main contact is off and this all bit you can use in scada tagging system and uh, you can uh, generate animation or graphics uh, as per our uh, previous uh, video so if you have any question or query you can ask uh, me in this video